The sound on this video is very loud, mostly my voice. This is because I left the gain on my microphone way too high, and I kept overloading it. I apologize, please keep your volume a little bit lower, and enjoy the video. Viewers and readers alike, welcome to the last, final part of Finding Paradise. Wow, these clouds sure aren't as fluffy as they look. Oh! My word! You've gone on for long enough. But this is where your trespassing ends. Oh my word, it's a... <laughs> uh, defend. Look, we don't have to do this. Then forfeit. Why are you still here? Okay, that still takes away my health. I guess I better just attack. <laughs> oh my word, the shoe. It's like the squirrels again. I remember from to, to the Moon, you could throw squirrel- Throw squirrels? You should throw a shoe at squirrels. Shoe. Oh, that did nothing. Oh my! Um, tornado punch! Uh-oh. You know, for an imaginary character, your attacks are kind of vanilla. Oh, wait, wrong guy, sorry. Armageddon KICK! Rudog? R Rudog? <laughs> oh, I could really use some help. TORNADO PUNCH! Yikes. Armageddon kick. Okay, this is about the end. Oh, I'm about to die anyway, so... SHOO! Dog has joined the party. <laughs> uh, all right. No, what? Compliment? Comp compliment. I want to see this. Oh! Oh, now the Rude Dog Stampede can't attack me. Question, Rude Dog. The imaginary dog is questioned and ceases to exist. Oh no, wait a minute! Dang it! Oh no, wait a second! Rude Dog, no, I'm sorry! Attack! Shoo! Get, can Rude Dog come back? Yes! Oh no. What? Wait, what? Shoe. Rudog. Yes! Never question Rudog. Rudog, it's during the party. Oh, I need the health, but I I'm sorry. I've gotta see Rocket Dog. I've gotta see Rocket Dog. <laughs> Oh, uh, I knew that was going to be the end, but still. There you can have it. Reset scenario? Yes. No, don't accept the outcome. Come on. What would happen if I accepted the outcome? I want to know that. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> you just don't get up, give up, do you? Well, there was this one time with the long line at the grocery store. But here, guess not. 
attack with Tornado Punch! So Rudog will only come back to me if Rudog's already attacked. So I need to wait for Rudog to attack me and then I guess just let Rudog keep complimenting me. It's the only way to live. Armageddon Kick! I used to love these old turn-based systems. Oh. I'm getting kick. There you are, Rudog. There we go. But now that that's happened, shoo! Dog has joined the party. Let's go. Compliment. I want to see the nose laser, but I don't think I can afford to at this point. I don't have a lot of time. Like I got it close. I gotta stop the stream soon. Do not question Rudog. Never question Rudog. Tornado punch. Oh, I got enough health. I can do nose laser. Nose laser. At least now I know, you never question Rudog. Rudog is everything. Armageddon, the kick! It's almost down. Let's end this with... Rocket Dog! Woo! I just realized I could have complimented it and probably ended it with throwing the shoe at her. <laughs> Well, that was a hoot. I beg to differ. Oh, shoot. Rudog's still up there. Forgot to thank him. But why did he help me? Shouldn't y'all made- Shouldn't y'all made up beings act in unison of Colin's subconsciousness? Maybe even Colin himself isn't always so sure of what he wants, but so what? With all that you tempt him with, it's no surprise that he got lost. That's okay, though. He may not know what he wants, but I know what he needs. Could it be that you're wrong? I mean no offense, but you aren't much more than the, that incomplete copy of Colin back there. In fact, I'm not even sure there's a point in talking to you right now. After all, you're just an ethereal figment of his imagination that never even existed. Perhaps so. But is that any different than what you're here to do? Eva? Hey, sorry, I had to head out for a moment there. She's all in Colin's head, by the way. Uh, yeah, I'm intimately familiar with that fact now. But what were you doing? You just bailed out on me! I was out administering sedatives to curb Colin's brain activity. Not sure how his mental process could override us, but it was getting out of hand. So that wasn't a Christmas miracle after all. It took a while to work out the dosage, but we still need his brain functioning. Oh, as we still need his brain functioning. My bad. Seems like it's working though. The effect should be sinking in more now. Wow. Just what have you been doing, uh, dealing with over here? Don't ask. The Naruto runaway. <laughs> what is that? Just some new code Roxy sent me. She said she saw issues with the machine earlier and knew we'd be in trouble. 
Rode a patch in the car while Rob was driving, apparently. Show off. Did, uh, did you say anything else about the machine? Aside from you doing a crappy job with the self-repairs? No. Not like there is much time to talk. Actually, I'm still not sure if Colin is stable enough for this to work yet. Huh. I didn't expect her to be locked down for good this soon. You must have tired Colin out quite a bit. Well, it, uh, it was a hard fought. Oh, it was a uh, hard fought. Whatever it was, good thing this worked. I doubt we'd have time for a retry. I do have some questions for you about this incident, though. But those can wait until the case is done. The effect of the sedative is temporary. We still have time at... Uh, we have little time as it is. Oh, hold on. Come on. Let's move on already while we still can. Sorry, I gotta take this. This is a important call. I will be back. See you soon, everybody! Sorry about that, everyone. We are back. Make sure the stream is actually showing the right thing. There's some lag. Uh-oh. Come on, I don't want to continue until I know it's actually streaming. Okay, yeah, it's working. It's a bit laggy. Oh, it's laggy because I left, I'm sure. Oh, well. I had to take that call. There was no way around it. Come on, let's move already. Let's move on already while we still can. There we go, now it's moving. Okay. Uh, oh no, the flowers. Sheesh, are they just spreading hibiscus seeds wherever they go? Oh wait, I need... Does she have it still? Okay, I got it. This might be the most hassle we've ever gone through for a single memory link. What is it? Oh, it's just something she said earlier. Mm-hmm. That whole thing was messed up. Did she turn freaky and ghastly on you, too? Yeah, but that's not what I meant. Never mind. Let's just get going and chat later. Woo! Prepare. Um, oh, there we go. Hello. Oh, wait, what if I do this? No, I can't do that because then. Oh, unless I. What? Okay, what? Oh, wait, I have an idea. I need... There is no gap. I thought I could get a gap here. Oh, hello. Uh, um... Oh. But then I can do this. Aha! There we go. Wonderful. We seem pretty close to the end. I'm going to actually try and stream the entire rest of the game here. And then I'll split it up into, I don't know, maybe three parts. We shall see. Let us get going. Goodbye, Faye. Activate. No! Backing up iterative data for uh, data for applied selection. Data backup complete and stored to repository. Did he just save Faye?
did he just save Faye? I don't quite understand what happened. That took a while. Weren't you right behind me? Eh, I just had to clean up that mess back there. Well, let's go and see what we find at that vortex next. Oh, crap. It's start. I don't know. There's some lag on my end, and it's going to come up in the recording. Ah, oh, well. I have a guess. Hello again, Faye. Let me just look around. Oh, okay, I, I can't leave. So, uh, I think this is a case of schizophrenia? Well, with that, the patient usually has trouble actively distinguishing delusion from reality. But in this case, I got the feeling that he's actually well aware of it. Still can't say for certain that I'm toward some kind of uh, defense mechanism instead. Well, that I'm leaning toward some kind of defense Okay, still not, st oh my word, still can't say that for certain, but I'm leaning towards some kind of defense mechanism instead. The more curious question is, how she's able to materialize here so vividly? What just happened? Oh, my bad. Okay, there we go. My bad, I'm here. Uh, lagging out like mad, but still. Why is this game lagging? think she's able to uh see us hard to say but she shouldn't be able to interfere for now at least this seems to be just a normal memory playback didn't it, didn't exactly stick that soft ugh. didn't exactly stick that soft feel landing huh not like I had much practice on the actual grass strip. She shouldn't be able to interfere for now. Wait, so what? Do I... I guess I just move on, because there's nothing really else to do here. Like, talking to them does nothing. Looking at the plane does nothing. I guess I just move on. Oh, yeah, that's it. What you waiting for? Come on! Haven't you ever heard of the phrase, stop and smell the roses? There are flowers on top of the hill, too, you know? I'll race you there! This music right now reminds me of Stardew Valley, uh, where um, the farmer plays the song with Abigail. Not that way. There they are. Hey, I was thinking it's a little windy today. Maybe we should come back some other time instead. Oh, don't be such a downer. We're practically already there. Hey, remember when we played Catch Me If You Can? there a moment ago. Oh, bird. Okay, what is the matter now? Let's just rest for a while. Again? You barely walked any steps. Hey, I'm the one who has to carry this thing uphill. Oh, I just... Oh, I just thought you'd have gotten stronger by now, that's all. The cello got bigger too, you know. Just come and sit here with me for a bit, will you? Do you remember the first time we came here? Which first time? The second one, I guess. The one where I tried to race you up the hill. Oh yeah, that was a dumb move. You sure were excited to take me up there, though. Yeah. It had been a while since I took anyone there. It's still one of my favorite places. 
I've always liked how it overlooked the city. It really has been a while, hasn't it? I rather miss going there. So why are you hesitating? Hmm? We're mere steps away from there, you know? Why are you stopping every step along the way? Stop kidding yourself, Colin. You're not tired. It's not the wind. We've already come so far. You know as what well, you know as well as I what we have to do. Okay, so what's going on? What's going on then? This one? Oh, it sounds like they're playing music. The first time we came here. That was the first time I accompanied you to play the scales, too, wasn't it? Yeah. It helps. It still does, actually. Well, no one likes to practice scales alone. But you could never actually hear what I was playing, could you? nice up here today. It always is. You don't have to leave anymore. I can fly now. Wherever you go, I can go with you. You really are stubborn, aren't you? Don't you think you're getting a bit too old for me to stay? People would laugh if they, uh, <clears throat> sorry, people would laugh at you if they knew. They can laugh all they want. I don't care. You made me who I am today. I learned to fly because of you. I kept playing cello because of you. You taught me to practice the scales. No, Colin. I can't teach you anything you don't know, nor can I make you do anything you don't want. I just noticed the cello cloud in the distance there. That's cool. <clears throat> Maybe all you really wanted was for someone to be there. Even if I just wanted someone like me. Oh, sorry. Oh, wait, my bad. Even if it was just someone like me. Oh, there's the plane cloud. I know it's mesmerizing here, Colin. But you've been spending so much time with me and imagining what couldn't be. Don't you think you're forgetting what actually is? And all that could be? Sometimes stepping out of this little world we've made. It's the only way to notice and appreciate all the beautiful things all around you. I just don't want to be alone. Sure. If I go, you'll be alone at times, even when you don't want to be. But that's all part of growing up. And it's all part of life. It's what makes fleeting moments with loved ones treasured. 
and our memories precious. It's also what drives you to seek out what you wouldn't find if you just stayed here with me. There's a lot out there waiting for you, Colin. I can't promise it'll always be good, but I know you won't find all I know you won't find all that you need living only in these pages of ours. There's the paper airplane. You brought me into this world. I won't forget that. And while some things are meant to stay, some are only meant to carry you so far. In my own way, you know I'll always be there to protect you. And whatever comes, if it's something we could do, then it's something you could do. What do you say, Colin? Are you ready? I don't know. I don't think I'm ready for it to end. I don't care what you are or aren't. You are my first real friend. Hey, this doesn't have to be the end for us. One day, you might look back and realize how fast this precious life has passed you by. And on that day, I'll come back once more. We'll talk like how we used to talk. And you'll tell me about your day. No, about your life. You'll tell me about what a happy life you've had. And all the nice memories you've made. I might not have such a happy life, you know. You're such a downer, you know that? Have a little faith in yourself, Colin. Of course you will. I know you will. It may take a long time, and it may take a lot of work and effort. But when that day comes, I know you'll have lots of happy memories to share. <sighs> it's almost time. How much have you written in that book by now? You've replaced its pages many times, huh? I must talk a lot. Sorry about that. But now that I'm going, perhaps you can finally spare more pages for other things? It's your book. You don't always have to write about me anymore. It's just like life, right? Same book filled with all kinds of different pages. As it should be. Take care of yourself, alright? Hey, I still haven't said goodbye yet. You already have, Colin. A long, long time ago. Well, that just holds, that just holds a blade against my heartstring. Holy crap. She never came back, did she? Guess not. I wonder if she's a cause or an effect. Hmm? As in, do you think Colin's unhappy because she never came back again? 
Colin only wants here again, I doubt he would have needed to call us. Yeah. So perhaps her absence at the end meant that he was already unhappy by then. Back to square one. This place is destabilizing again. We don't have much time left. Let's move. We have to make do with what we have. Wait, do we even know what we're doing with him yet? I have a few ideas to try, but we still need to link the mementos first. Let's get back to the overworld and figure... Oh, pardon me. And figure out... Uh, figure things out while, while we do that. Holy crap. <clears throat> Alright. Wah! What? Uh, wait just a- In my own way, I'll always be there to protect you. Neil? What's taking you so long? place is falling apart. There's no time to wait for him. Well, this should be easy enough. Oh, yep, this rotates. Whoa. Do that. Ha ha ha, molto bene. We do this. Wait, I just noticed the rocks falling down. Is there, like, stalactites or stalagmites? I don't remember which one is which. There we go. I think that's all of them, but... Was that a... What is this place? Oh, this reminds me a bit of a bird story. His memories, they're all falling apart. In the blink of an eye, suddenly, there's no more time. And if I find myself here, just like everyone else, then I want to feel like I've done enough in this world before I go, you know? That's why we're here, Colin. Tell us your regrets. Uh, tell us your regrets. What is it that you want us to fix? I want you to make me live that without changing anything I've been through. Okay, yeah, I remember this. That's when he went to Sigmund. We saw that memory. Whoa! Now there's a way down, but I don't want to go down just yet. Call them. When you go through the procedure and leave, live that new life, just hold on to something from here. It's not like that, Thea. I won't forget about you. Oh. Watch out for the shark. We only have so little time in this life. And we'd never be able to do all that we want. No matter what we do, there'd always be other things we want to try, other paths to take. Crap, crap, crap. 
crap, 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 crap. Did you spill it on? Did it spill on your dress? Hey, just one more excuse to jump into the lagoon. You know, we don't have to waste all that lemon juice. Have you ever tried writing with it? Lemon juice? No, why? <laughs> then prepare to be mind blown by some elementary school magic. Get this, it's invisible ink. Invisible ink? Yep, the writing appears in color only when you heat the paper up. Come on, I'll show you. Let's write something with it. It's been a while since I've written. Well, never too late to start again. How about a letter? To who? Each other, of course. We could write about this trip. It's been some kind of journey, hasn't it? And at the end of it, we could show each other what we wrote of it all. Why was this not a part of the memory earlier? Why would you even consider it? Why would you toss aside everything? Have you some... Everything we have for something make-believe? I'm not tossing anything aside. Okay, well, there's no more rock to go anywhere. We all have regrets, be it writing a wrong or a dream long past. At Sigmund Corp, we give you that second chance to make things right. Because with our help, it's never too late. Wait, these don't seem like just randomly scattered memories. Could it be that the sedative's wearing off? are different, even from the man you were when I first met you. You're no longer aloof, you know? When you're here, you're actually here. Man, this is interesting. I know it's mesmerizing here. Faye spoke after a pause, shifting her gaze back up to the sky. But you've been spending so much time with me and imagining what couldn't be. Don't you think you're forgetting what actually is and all that could be? Okay, look, I got it. I got your message, you hear me? I know you're still here. You can come and get me now. Dang it, I really thought it was her. Uh, wait, is that really the only way to... <laughs> oh. I forgot there's still a whole song to be played. Uh, they sing um, Wish, M Wish My Life Away or something like that. It's a beautiful song. Where the hay have you been? I figured it out, Eva. I figured out the impossible. I mean, it took an unholy amount of spoon feeding, but... I guess that's what it takes when we're on the inside of it. What are you talking about? Yes. Just what are you talking about? The sedative. It, the sedative? It wore off already? You don't sound too ha You don't sound too happy about it. We're here to help Colin, and you're the mental process that's in the way. Well, lucky for you, that can be amended now, can it? So, looks like we're about out of time. If you're going to erase me for good, you might as well hurry. No, we're not going to, to erase you. We're going to erase us. 
Wait, what? Colin never needed our service, Eva. He already had her. The ability to change his reality to live in a different world. One that filled the gaps of what he wanted all in his head. She is what we do, Eva. And yet she left. She left, which could have only meant one thing. What you're trying to imply... No, that can't be right. What we do is different from just this. How is it different? We, because we're, there's more to it. There's more to what we do. We fulfill wishes. We give meaning to people's lives. What we do, it has to be more than just an imaginary friend. It's a lot more elaborate for sure. But for someone who had to fight for someone, but for someone who had to fight just to let go of fantasy to embrace reality, maybe our existence was merely an unwelcome amplifier. A reminder of the make-believe, the imaginary, and that endless possibilities, and the endless possibilities that can make reality seem less than what it is. Hey, you two. Things aren't looking too good with the patient. I don't know what you're up to, but you might want to get out of there. And by might wanna, I mean need to. After all that, huh? I guess none of it even matters anymore. There's no way we'd still have the time to implement any actual changes. No, we might not have the time. But what about her? She's already linked to the machine's interface, right? Without us, all procedures would be inter would be internalized. So much, oh, sorry, <clears throat> so much could be done in a fraction of a moment. You're suggesting giving sole control of the machine to a mental process of the patient? The ethical implications of that—it it hasn't done, it hasn't been done for good reasons. It hasn't been done because no patient has had a chance like this. Besides, what's our what's our alternative? Just leave and mark this off as a write-off? But what about legal complications? And the contract, it says... Oh, come on, Eva. When has the contract stopped us? Uh, guys... Go on, I'll be right behind. Don't say I never trust you. Why are you doing this for us? Well, if I were Colin and on my last breath, I trust you over two strangers in white coats, right? Strangers, huh? Your colleague was right about one thing. There is more to you than just playing God with people's memories. You've been here for just a day, yet in all his lifetime, no one has truly seen the world through his eyes like you have. And, well, you're kind of the first... You're kind of the first I've been able to meet, too some silly way maybe that's a part of what Colin really wished for it was what it was quite a meet and greet that's for sure full admin access transfer to unknown credible day you gonna be all right just a little nervous I guess well, given the circumstances, I'd say that's pretty alright. Hey. Do you think that, in some ways, I've truly existed? Well, for what it's worth, 
I think all our memories and everything in it can be nothing but the fiction we tell ourselves. Good luck out there. Colin's counting on you. This dream is going a lot longer than I intended. <laughs> His blood pressure is dropping. Vital signs are fading fast. I think he's letting go. Sorry for your loss. Please, take all the time you need. I'll be in the living room with the paperwork. Then we're ready. I'll let them know. Always a little stark, isn't it? Seeing it like this after that, after just having been in there. Uh, it is what it is. Just a little cold. It felt warmer in there. What we did back there, do you know if it worked hard to say I'll try to dig through the data afterward but well it's never been done like this before I don't know how coherent it'd be guess we got another another mess of a report to write we can take care of that at when the dust settles in the meantime I just remembered something So did you so did you succeed? There was a complication. We tried to cope with something unorthodox, but I'm not sure if we'll ever know what really happened in those last moments. Hey, Sophia said uh sorry. <clears throat> hey, Sophia said you got a lighter? Uh yeah. This is it. Wish my life away. Okay, I'll be quiet for the rest of this, because this, this is where we see the best of this game. We never stood up very tall. I think my voice was very small. A shout, though my thoughts weren't sorted out, so I'd stumble and I'd fall. Feelings of pride because of me. So if you left, I could go too. And everything you saw in me, that's what.
dream and as we grow we have to learn to let things go but let the wonder never fade though we've turned ten thousand pages flying higher stuck below I search for me Like I'm bursting at the seams And you're here after all All the grass on the other side Is it only green or in my mind? I'd still want it the same Because trading my yes to wish my life away Sorry, I had my mic muted. <clears throat> Looking for something, old timer? It's been a while, huh? It's a long while. You haven't changed much. And whose fault is that now? Listen, I wish it were under better circumstances, but... I know. I wish I still had time to tell you about all that's happened since then. It's okay. I was there. I'm only here to say goodbye. Just tell me one thing, though. Do you still have any regrets? Regrets? Yeah, I have a lot of those. But, that's okay. The chances I missed and... Oh, sorry. <clears throat> the chances I missed, the mishaps, and all that I wish I had. Well, they were all still a part of it. They made way for all that I do have. And what I do have, I wouldn't trade for anything else in the world. 
That's what I wish to hear. Go on. They're waiting for you. It's time to go home. Hey, Colin. Sorry I had to leave back then. Thank you for having been there, even when nobody else was. Well, that's the end of that. <clears throat> oh, sorry. These stories hit a little... These stories hit uh, a bit harder than they used to. Oh. I don't think I, um... <laughs> I explained fully what happened in the five months between streams. Um. Uh, basically, um... Uh, this is not the place to talk about this. Um, <clears throat> basically, in those five months, I uh, I was dying. Like, actually dying. Um, my heart had taken a turn for the worse, and um, it started stopping and starting, and I would just be on my feet having a normal conversation. I, I'd, I'd feel it go, and I'd just suddenly fall over. And, um... <laughs> it was causing more problems than, than you'd think. My heart didn't have the energy to actually run my digestive system, and it, it shut down. I, I couldn't eat solids at all. There was nothing, nothing there that could be done. I, I was given a couple weeks in the end, and, um, I, eventually, my heart stopped one night for four minutes, no breathing, no heartbeat, and, um, that was the closest call I'd had. I was awake, too. I was mid-conversation, and then out. There was nothing. There's just this blank gap in between. I know there's an after credit scene. I just want to talk about this. Um, it was, it was a hard thing to go through, and it still traumatizes me a bit. Oh. There, hold on. Um, but. <sighs> I, as I was there, I knew I, I, I was probably going to end up just dead, and I was thinking about where I am in life now versus where I was years ago and you start thinking on things you wish you'd done things you had the chance to do and um, all the regrets of having not seen them through and they they rack up they believe me they do uh, but <laughs> I this 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 franchise this these stories they hit me so much differently now. They feel so different because even here, he saw his regrets and he 
was still happy with what he got, and I was I was the same way. I I regret a ton of things. I do, but then I I look I look at where I am and I look at what I have, and I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't change it for the world. There are things that maybe I would have done differently, but nonetheless, I still I'd want to be where I am now. And now, now I'm better. I'm legitimately better. And now I don't know where to go from here. <clears throat> it just hits me differently because watching from this perspective, you, you see these characters... And they're they're all they're prepared to die. They just want their regrets taken care of. And this one here, Colin, he he's happy with what he has. He doesn't want that changed. And I'm the same way. Only now I have a chance to keep going forward and I don't know where to go. But I I'll figure that out along the way. <clears throat> Sorry, got a bit sidetracked. Uh, <clears throat> let's wrap this up. This stream is almost an hour longer than I intended. Let's get this over with so I can get these on YouTube, huh? <clears throat> As usual, these won't be edited too much, but yeah, we'll just, uh, <sighs> let's get this over with. <clears throat> so, where are you? At my scotch, drinking home. You said you'd be here. I said I'd visit like we always do. Not attend the funeral. When was the last time we even did that? I know, but I just thought we owe it to him after. Dr. Rosalie, we're about to start. Go on, I'll get my turn. All right, enjoy your scotch. You know it. Now, where were we? Ooh, not looking sketchy at all, Neil. I asked you to knock, not hack my lock. Switching to digital was a terrible idea. Why didn't you just keep both locks on? Nabbit, Rob. I don't know. I don't know why she even got you involved. Look, we don't have long. Are you guys still in or not? You betcha! So, what, uh, is that the solution we were talking about? Yeah. That's her. So we did save fa- whoa. Wait, it knows I finished all those? Thank you for having been a part of this. Yeah, so we did save Faye. At least that's what I'm understanding. We're done? Like we're actually done? That's all until... Oh, it, the game just closed out. Okay, so that's all until uh, Imposter Factory. Wow. Okay, well, I guess that's the end. Sorry for going on a bit of a sidetrack there. I just... I don't know. I There's not a lot of people I can... I talk to about that. Anyway. <clears throat> That is all of Finding Paradise. I will get to um, Imposter Factory when I can. I don't know when that'll be, I'm afraid. But until then, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed these streams, don't forget you can rewatch them on YouTube at LJD Miller.
Oh, thank you for watching. This has been LJD Miller. Take care of yourselves.